If you are an internet marketer, freelancer, blogger or work on YouTube and Fiverr but don't know about Videoscribe then definitely you are missing golden nuggets. Videoscribe, with the combination of expertise and hard work, can earn you a handsome amount of money and living. Videoscribe has an extremely easy to use and truly user-friendly interface through which you can easily create Videoscribe and whiteboard animation videos in minutes and without having to hire someone for personal use or selling to others. You can sell Videoscribe, Doodle and whiteboard animation videos on freelance marketplaces such as Freelance.com, Fiverr and others. By taking the usefulness of this best doodle and whiteboard animation creator into consideration, I am going to introduce to you some of its salient features and facts in today's video review of Videoscribe of. Spackle Videoscribe can be used on two most used Microsoft Windows and Mac OS operating systems to create doodle and whiteboard animation videos. Videoscribe is one of those softwares that are quite expensive. It costs you $29 for a month and $144 for a year. You may buy a lifetime subscription for $665, but the best thing is that they offer a 7 days free trial with some limitations and they don't ask for your PayPal account on credit card. All you need to do is create a free account to use the free trial of Videoscribe. You can use your subscription on as many computers as you want, but you can use it only on one PC at the same time though. Although it is not necessary to have the internet to use Videoscribe but when you launch Videoscribe, you need to be connected to the internet to verify your account details. Trial version of Videoscribe is fully functional and you can use all features to create doodle and whiteboard animation videos. But there is one thing that spoils the beauty of free trial. You can't export or render your videos while using the free trial. I found Videoscribe best at creating black and white doodle and whiteboard animation videos. Scalable vector graphics SVG format works great but JPG. PNG and other image formats make the video ugly and give it a kind of sluggish effect. As well as JPG, PNG and other image formats make Videoscribe slow. Although Videoscribe can convert JPG, PNG and other image formats to line drawing. But I personally found it useless it's of no use. Using a scalable vector graphics editor like Inkscape and Adobe Illustrator to convert any image to line drawing or SVG format is a far better option than using built-in line drawing converter. You are given a huge list of SVG images in the Videoscribe base library. That is enough for you. You can convert your desired image to SVG format. If you don't find an image according to your requirements using a vector graphics editor such as Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape, fonts are a very crucial thing in Videoscribe because a doodle and whiteboard animation video is considered incomplete without text. You are not limited to fonts given by Videoscribe. You can download from the internet and install favorite fonts and then import to Videoscribe to use in whiteboard animation and doodle videos. You can only write English as text in projects. You cannot write other languages as text in Videoscribe. But Inkscape or Adobe Illustrator can be used to convert text in any language to SVG format. In addition to text and image, you can also add voice over, music and GIF animations. But you are limited to only 4 MBS while adding a GIF animation to canvas. Unfortunately videos cannot be added to the whiteboard and doodle videos. This is feature almost all of Videoscribe users want people behind Videoscribe add in this famous whiteboard animation maker. But you can still put a whiteboard animation effect over a video and GIF animation. There are two ways to put a doodle and whiteboard animation effect over a video. First one is quite difficult to do as well as it requires a lot of time and efforts while second one is pretty easy but has some shortcomings. To do so, 
render video as a transparent PNG image sequence and then use this PNG image sequence in Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects or any other feature-rich video editor to put a doodle and whiteboard animation effect over a video. I've discovered another solution in which all you need to do is add green color as a background and export the video. Then remove green color using a video editor that supports green screen functionality. Fortunately widely used Camtasia Studio supports this feature. You don't need to have a high-end video editor, but the downside is that it removes green color from other objects too. As far as my personal experience is concerned, you need minimum a week to understand its user interface and become an expert. Though the user interface of Videoscribe is user-friendly, but it has many shortcomings as well as many features are difficult to use. For example, there is no undo button, but you have to use Ctrl plus Z together to undo any changes. As well as applying transitions is not an easy job it takes time. Understanding the camera is key. You are given 15 sets of brushes that are enough but if you are not satisfied with them, then you can create or design hands yourself by using Adobe Photoshop or any other image manipulation software. I do hope today's video review has been helpful and informative to you as well as you've also discovered new features of Videoscribe. If you have used it and you are an expert and know about untapped features of this doodle and whiteboard animation software please do share with me and YouTube community using the comment section. Stay tuned, stay blessed, and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share.